It's the 2nd of July. I'm Jerusha Sukthio Rath, and you're watching News 24 Live. Let's have a look at today's news headlines. Buses were stoned this morning in Mamalodi near Pretoria as minibus taxi drivers continued protesting, this time against the introduction of the Autopax bus service in the area. Three buses were damaged, Gauteng Transport Department spokesperson Octavia Mamabolo told News 24. She said that 19 buses had left the depot and were all accompanied by law enforcement officials. It's unclear how many commuters have been affected at this stage. Now, Autopax was appointed to take over selected routes that Patco used in Gauteng. This includes the Mamalodi area, and it comes after Patco decided not to renew its contracts with the provincial government. The body of a baby girl was discovered wrapped in a plastic bag and dumped at a rubbish corner in the Bloemfontein CBD. It appears to have happened on Tuesday evening. The discovery was made by a passerby. Now, according to Captain Chaka Morope, the little body was found with burn wounds on the face and on the right hand. She's estimated to have been about two or three weeks old. A post-mortem will be conducted to establish the cause of death. But in the meantime, Morope has made an appeal to anyone with information about the incident to approach the Parkwach police station in Bloom. No arrests have been made at this stage. And finally, the captain of a Trans-Asia Airways plane that crashed in Taiwan in February, killing 43 people, had apparently switched off the working engine after the other lost power. This according to the Aviation Safety Council. About three minutes after takeoff, the captain, who was piloting the plane, was heard to say, wow, pulled back the wrong side throttle. Now, according to Reuters, a source with direct knowledge of the report said the working engine had been shut off, and data readings show that the almost new aircraft stalled and crashed shortly after it was switched off. Fifteen people survived the crash. We'll be keeping you updated on these stories and more. Stay tuned to News 24 Live.